All right, so I'm here with your Royal Rumble predictions. Now, I think this show is going to suck. It's going to be shitty, just like the majority of WWE's pay-per-views nowadays. So, um, let's just get right into it. You got, um, first match, Big Show versus Brock Lesnar. Now, I'm getting this list off of WWE.com, and, uh, you know, they're up to date, obviously, but there might be some more matches added. Actually, let me start off. It looks like they're going to do AJ versus uh, Naomi because Naomi pinned AJ. If that match happens, Naomi pinned AJ on Raw. If that match happens, AJ will retain. They're not going to put the belt on a dancing fucking jobber pretty much in Naomi. Um, Naomi does have talent, but you just can't see a fucking dancer, you know, a retarded ass PG dancer being the face of the Divas division or the champion. It's not going to happen. If that happens, AJ will win. And I think that will actually be a good match because Naomi has talent and AJ is pretty good as well. So, uh, big show versus Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is going to win here. It's pretty obvious. You know, they're not going to put fucking big show over Brock Lesnar. Because Brock Lesnar is going to be in a big time match at Mania. They're not going to make him job out to fucking um, uh, big show. And he looks like he's going to be uh, going after the title. He's not going to lose if he's going after the title. Um, I think this match isn't going to be that great. I mean, it's a big show. Maybe, you know, Lesnar could carry him to a halfway decent match or an average match. Hopefully it's not too shitty. Um, but it, th this match, I mean, it doesn't shouldn't be here. I mean, with all of the guys who are in WWE right now who you would like to see Lesnar feud with, who he hasn't feuded with ever. I mean, you got Daniel Bryan. You got Dolph Ziggler. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> um... Just a lot of people, you know, I mean, that, that have talent that you would love to see the Lesnar feud with. I mean, I hope he feuds with Brian in the near future. That would be a really cool feud. Um, you know, but <laughs> Big Show, really? It's going to feud with fucking Big Show. Holy shit. It's going to feud with this washed up 450 pound fucking fat ass who's out of shape, has no charisma at all, and he fucking sucks. Alright? So, you know, it's just stupid. I think this match is stupid. It's like, we don't need to, nobody wants to see this match. And it, it makes it worse how Brock Lesnar is coming out and he's getting beat up by Big Show. Then Big Show will throw him out of the ring or uh, do one offensive move on Lesnar and he'll just leave like a fucking pussy. So this match is gonna, you know, Lesnar's gonna win, but it's not gonna be that great. We got uh, Brian versus uh, Bray Wyatt. Um, uh, let's see here. You know, I didn't really think of this, but, you know, I didn't really write any fucking things down before. But I think, um, they're gonna put, uh, Bray Wyatt. They're gonna make some fucking screwy-ass finish or some shit like that. I, I don't see Brian winning here. I think they're gonna screw him over again. Um, because they, they, I heard they want to push Bray Wyatt a lot. They, they obviously don't want to push Brian. They're gonna fuck over the fans. They're going to fuck over everybody who likes this guy. And they're going to fucking just screw up Daniel Bryan again. They're going to, I think they're going to make, you know, a fuck finish or some shit like that. They're going to interfere in some shit. But I don't, I don't see, I don't see Bryan winning here. I just don't. They're going to put Bray Wyatt over because, you know, he's got a new guy. They want to push him out here, so... I think the match is going to be good, but I don't think Brian's going to win. I just don't have the feeling they're going to fucking put put him over Bray Wyatt. I just don't. I think it's going to be a screwy-ass finish, but I hope he wins. I hope he fucking wins, but I don't see it happening. Next match, um, Cena versus um, Orton. Uh, Cena, I think, is going to win here. Um... I don't see them going too, you know, too much farther with Orton, and supposedly Lesnar's gonna be facing the the winner of this match. So I don't see them doing heel versus heel with Lesnar and Orton. I see them doing Cena versus Lesnar at the Chamber, maybe, um, or maybe they'll do something at Mania. I don't know, but I see Cena going over here. They're not gonna, you know, they build this match as a straight, you know, wrestling match. And Cena never loses this. I don't see any way of this being an interference. No interference. I don't think there's gonna be. There's not gonna be any screwy finish. I don't think. I think it's gonna be a clean finish. So and Cena never loses these <laughs> matches with clean finishes. So I see Cena winning here. Um. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a shitty match. I think it's gonna be very bad. 
and it's going to suck, but Cena's going to come out victorious. And so, next match. Um, Cody Rose and Goldust versus the Outlaws. Um, Cody Rose and Goldust are going to win this match. Don't see them putting the belts on the washed up Outlaws. I mean, it's nice to see them back and all, but the wrestling skills are mediocre. They're, they are, they do have some talent for being, you know, removed from the business from, for, I don't know, 10 years now maybe. Maybe a little bit uh, shorter than that. I'm not sure when they left, but they, they haven't been, you know, wrestling for uh, quite some time in WWE. So it's impressive to see that they still are in shape and shit, but they're not that great. They're pretty mediocre in the ring. I don't see them putting the belts on these people. Um, they should just put the belts on the real Americans already. I mean, the real Americans got a good talker and uh, Coulter got two good wrestlers. They're over. Everybody says we the people when they chant that, or when you know Zeb Coulter tells us to. So they should just put the belts on them. But no, they don't want to do that for some fucking reason. Um, so yeah, uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust are gonna go over. I think the match is going to be alright. Don't see a match with the New Age Allies being anything special. Then we get the 30 uh, Superstar Royal Rumble. I think RVD is going to return. I think um, Sheamus is going to return. Jericho is not returning. He tweeted out, I think a couple weeks ago, he has no plans to return in the early part of 2014. So I don't think he's coming back. Um, so and, and, uh, Did I mention Sheamus? Um, RVD, Sheamus, you know, I don't think there's going to be any, you know, huge returns or anything like that. I'm hearing no rumors at all about anybody coming back. Um, but yeah, RVD and Sheamus are two locks, I think, for me that are going to come back. Uh, Sheamus has been out a while. They're obviously saving his return for the Rumble. RVD, they said he would be back soon, you know, he, so I think he's coming back right here. Um, so yeah, I hope there are some other surprise entrances or whatever. I'm sure there'll be some more surprises, but I, I can't, there's so many people who are possibilities. I just didn't feel like fucking thinking about it, but yeah, I, th I think those are the two locks, RVD and Sheamus. And then, um, I'll, I'll do my final four in the rumble. I think it's going to come down to punk. Um, is Brian the rumble? I don't fucking know. They re didn't really make that clear. Um, but, uh, let's see if they have it, you know, um, I, I don't know, but yeah, I was trying to look at if they have the roster or whatever, but I don't know if Brian's in the rumble yet, yet or not. So, but I'll say, um, Punk, um, Roman Reigns, Batista, and fourth one, uh, this is pretty fucking hard. Um, is Cena's not in the rumble. I don't fucking know. Let's just do three, all right? So Punk, um, Reigns, and Batista. Batista's going to win it, obviously. He's going to face the, the rumor right now, or the match that's going to happen at WrestleMania is um, going to be... Oops, not bad. It's going to be... Uh, sorry about that. It's going to be Batista versus Orton at WrestleMania. It's obvious for the title. And so Batista's going to win the Rumble here. And... That's going to be your fucking Rumble match. I think it, you know, the Rumble match is always a nice little concept. It's always a interesting match. I think it's going to be pretty good, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, Batista's going to win it. Um, uh, at least Cena's not going to win it again. He's not going to be in it. He's not going to win it, so that's good. Um, and Orton's not going to win it either. So, um, But he's a champion, so it's like, <laughs> it's worse. So I think the Rumble's going to suck, though. It's going to suck fucking cock. It's going to be fucking horrible, I think, for a fucking Royal Rumble. It's supposed to be the number two pay-per-view of the year, and it's going to suck, all right? It's not going to be anything special. you got Orton versus Cena. They're trying to build this up as a, you know, a monumentous feud. They're trying to make this, you know, a, like this big-ass feud when nobody gives a shit about it. The, you know, it's like all these matches aren't that great. They put Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus um, the um, New Age Allies. We already saw that match on SmackDown, so they're admitting it's a SmackDown quality match. But at least the titles are on the line. I just don't see the point of bringing the Outlaws in to face them for the titles or whatever. And turning them heels to pretty stupid as well. Big Show Lesnar. I mean, you wouldn't see that match normally on a Raw. But it's like, I don't want to see Big Show versus Brock Lesnar. 
Brock Lesnar could do bigger and better things than face fucking the big slow. Then, um, Brian versus Wyatt. I mean, this feud is fucking dragged out. Just ended it already. I mean, they did this match on Tribute to the Troops for like two minutes and then they ended it in DQ. But, it's, you know, it's. I, I don't know. It's going to be a good match, I think, but. It's just this huge, this lasted for months. I'm tired of it. I want Daniel Bryan to go on to bigger and better things. Do something with him. You don't need to make him champion, but that's what they should do. They should make him champion. But you don't need to be champion to be in the top of the company. Feud with Brock Lesnar. Feud with somebody who's good and that the fans could take interest in. This Wyatt family thing, it's run its course. End it, all right? End it. It's done. You can't get any more good things out of this feud. You've already done enough. So there's my Rumble predictions. If you want to leave some predictions in the comments, go right fucking ahead. Um, yeah, let me know who you think is going to win the Rumble. Um, but it's obviously going to be Batista. And let me just talk about this for a little bit longer. Holy shit, you know, I, I, I didn't rant about this enough on my Raw review, but they did fuck up Batista's return. I was listening to a couple people's reviews, and they, yeah, they did fuck up his return. I mean, he comes back, cuts a little two-minute promo, a minute promo. Just leaves like that. I was listening to the Brad Rules review, and he said he should have power bombed uh, Orton. And I, and I agree. It's like <laughs> that's what he's supposed to do, but uh, he didn't do that. He didn't. You know, it's just it didn't feel special. It didn't feel special at all. They just should have made him a surprise Rumble return. That would have been awesome. But they fucking announced it to get ratings for that episode of Raw, and the uh, that episode of Raw fucking sucked. It did. It's like that was a go home show to the fucking Rumble. Are you fucking kidding me? Did nothing to really build up the Rumble at all. I mean, I always liked the face to face promos before the Rumble. I always loved, you know, see two people, you know. Remember Cena Bryan before SummerSlam cutting that great promo? I want to see more of those to build up the match, to hype up the match, make it feel special. But you got none of those. Nothing. I don't even think you got one fucking promo between any oh Bray and White Bray and uh, Bray Wyatt and Daniel Bryan. That was the only promo you got to hype up the match. I think nothing for the tag match. Nothing for the nope. No really fucking anything for the Rumble. You know to hype up the Rumble. It, it's very little they did to hype up the Rumble at all. I mean they did a little bit, but not much. Um, they they're not making it seem like a big deal. It's like they're overshadowing the Rumble with Cena and Orton. And Cena and Orton, they didn't do any any promos, any face-to-face -face promos at all, I don't believe. They didn't do it this week. They should have done something. You know, all they did was a shitty brawl into the fucking crowd. That fucking ended with Orton fucking driving away in a fucking car. Hopefully that car fucking drives off a fucking bridge with Randy Orton in it. So we don't have to see him again. <laughs> or, you know, just something to get him off my TV screen for a little bit. Maybe they could say, oh, the car crashed in a fiery accident and injured Orton. Now he's out for, yeah, that would be great, you know. Let's take Orton out. Take Orton out of my life for six months. Give, give us something other than fucking Randy Orton all fucking, you know, every episode of Raw. I don't need to see him. They've, they've made him the face of the company for fucking six months now, I think. It's been, it's been a while. And it hasn't succeeded. Nobody likes him. Ratings are down. They're big on ratings in WWE. But, you know... It doesn't matter what the ratings are when Cena or Orton's there, because those are the guys, you know, those are their guys, you know. But when Brian draws a low SummerSlam rating, oh, it's his fault. It's Brian's fault. No, get him out of the main event. It's his fault that SummerSlam was a low buy rate. Or maybe, it, maybe it's because WWE's um, inability to fucking put on a fucking quality pay-per-view. If they're not going to put on any quality pay-per-views, you're not going to buy anything. It's not because of Daniel Bryan. It's because of WWE's inability to put on a quality pay-per-view show. So there you go, people. There's my Rumble review and a little rant. Or a Rumble, Rumble predictions and a little rant from the Royal Rumble. I can't see this show being anywhere near a satisfactory pay-per-view. So um, there you go, people. show's going to suck.